this video unit number 5 rdbms okay so unit number 5 name is distributed and client server database this is your chapter name okay students so now we will discuss about the ddbms that is distributed database management system is an important long question as i have said okay a distributed database management system is a collection of independent database that appears at users in a as a single uh, database for example ikkada indian ante it it collects the data from various databases but for the users which you are which they are using that database will show as a single database that is called distributed database so in which data is stored in storage devices that are not located in the same physical location okay so it is stored in multiple computers ma so it is stored in multiple compu computers it is in a physical format okay this is called about the distributed database management system so it will be more understandable if you see this diagram so here the computers had three databases we are having we are giving this three databases to the three clients okay students one minute hmm. here this is the distributed database where branch 2 is using this data branch 1 is using this data and branch 2 3 is using this data means database is distributed into three types right so here 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 so this is about the distributed database management system so a distributed database management system appears as a single database but it is a set of databases stored in multiple uh, things and matter okay so it will look as a single database but it is it it will distribute the database to several clients that is called distributed database management system okay students next what you are having ddbms are used by organizations that are officers in different geographical locations means this distributed database used by the organization in the companies it will use because to work in in a different geographical locations that is the main advantage of this right students next every individual branch interacts primarily within the data so to solve the issue a distributed database usually operates a allowing each branch of the company okay so ikkada mainly advantage of ddbms is that will be accessible to reliable person for example me distributed database ni nenu handle cheyochu because if your database is distributed okay students so that is the thing if one side fails in dbms the remaining side will be able to continue okay for example me whatsapp undi మీ పేరెంట్స్ వాట్సాప్లో మీ వాట్సాప్ లింక్ అయి ఉన్నప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది మీ దగ్గర మీ ఫోన్ లేనప్పుడు కూడా మీ పేరెంట్స్ వాట్సాప్లో నుంచి మీ వాట్సాప్కి లింక్ అవ్వచ్చు సో లైక్ దాట్ ఓన్లీ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూటర్ డేటాబేస్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ సిస్టమ్ హ్యాజ్ అ అన్ అడ్వాంటేజ్ నెక్స్ట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద స్ట్రక్చర్ ఆఫ్ డిడిబిఎంఎస్ దట్ ఈస్ హోమోజీనియస్ డిబిఎం డిడిబిఎంఎస్ అండ్ హెట్రోజీనియస్ డిడిబిఎంఎస్ విల్ బీ దేర్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ మీన్ బై హోమోజీనియస్ అండ్ వాట్ ఈస్ మీన్ బై హెట్రోజీనియస్ వి విల్ డిస్కస్ నా వన్ yeah homogeneous ddbms homogeneous ddbms means the ddbms is a network of two or more database of same type is known as homogeneous ddbms and heterogeneous is it is a different databases we are having to distribute a database is known as heterogeneous what are the components of ddbms are computer workstations network hardware communication media transmission media scheduler these are all the components of ddbms what are the advantages of ddbms we are having increased availability we should use the available of data by using it we say distributed actual actually we will use all the data right next improved reliability and next one scalability and the next one local control so try to learn all these points and make sure you are after uh, 
putting all this one just make sure in the matter you should write it in your own way so this is the answer what are the disadvantages of ddbms we are having complexity data integrity means data is not correct format overhead cost next handling fastures and the security issues also we are having this is these are the main disadvantages of ddbms this is the main and the pakka question next what we are having data replication for two marks important what is mean by data replication means the implementation of database it purpose eliminating the data eliminating the data or inconsistent amount users is known as uh, like uh, data replication so this is the diagram try to remember the diagram okay so there is no need to learn any advantages and disadvantages and also you are having data fragmentation which is useful for two marks question what is mean by data fragmentation it breaks a single object into two or more segments or fragments okay so this is the database ma for example this is the database it is breaking it into a four parts that is called as data fragmentation right so this is the diagram so just try to uh, look into the diagram you will easily get to know and the last concept of fifth unit is client server database client server architecture right here you are having the diagram just see this diagram client server in middle we are having middleware when client is asking server is responding when server is asking client is responding like intraverse interverse like that okay so this is the client server architecture who is the client the client is any computer process that request servers from the services from the server what are the services we are rendering from the server is known as client server means who is giving the data to the server who is giving the data to the client is the duty of the server so this is the client server architecture ma just you need to draw the diagram and the, here you will have one tier architecture and two tier architecture and n tier architecture so here i am quick uh, i will tell you about the one tier architecture means here you are having client 1 client 2 client 3 all three clients are related interrelated to network either it is a lan or man database here we are having server is here here so server and database are beyond the network server and database are beyond the network server and beyond the network okay so this is the one tier architecture what is two tier architecture two tier architecture means database data server database and server and application server is beyond the network this is called two tier architecture and then what is mean by entire architecture entire architecture means this is one so gui web server application server database server everything this is the thing what are the advantages we are having what are the disadvantages we are having we need to look into it okay students so this is about the unit number five rdbms whatever the things i have discussed that is enough only advantages and disadvantages of ddbms and client server architecture these two questions out of these two questions one question will definitely get repeated all the very best for your examination see you all in the next video bye bye students